Kiza, let me hear what you're saying. You're saying if somebody wants to invest in Durban CBD, right? The best thing to do is to get a mixed use. I'm recording, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm recording, I'm recording. But then um, the best thing is to get a mixed use property right now. Yeah, mixed use properties. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, such as price. Uh, price is fine unless if they want the juice. Uh, price. It's in the issue, so it's price. Alright, just wait a bit to my mixed use property. So you're saying mixed use, why mixed use property? Well, that's where you get the best of everything. You've got, uh, uh, you can rent out for businesses, you can rent out for residents, mm -hmm. uh, you can rent out for offices as well. So um, you get more most of those buildings that you can you, you, in all seasons. You know you're secured with mm -hmm. money. So with residents throughout, there will be money. Businesses are always there. There's, you get the right uh, tenants as your shops. Mm -hmm. You know there will always be money coming in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mixed use properties are the way to go. Okay, mixed use properties. Mm -hmm. Now. Um, I specifically asked Devon CBD, right? Yes. More compared to Devon CBD um, to Umshang, I say. Okay. Where would you get the best ROI? <laughs> Devon CBD would be a good one um, with the traffic that it has and um, affordable accommodation than what you get in Umshang. Uh, uh, you will get, you will get uh, some, but then the kind of traffic you have is not the same as you will get in the city. Um, say you wanted to do uh, the lower end of your holiday accommodation as well, in the CBD will be much easier for you to get a lot of traffic in there. And um, with the uh, shops, there's too much traffic in town that you can you can um, get tenants who can be attracted to doing business there. Um, whereas, yeah, with Mshanga, it's uh, just a different ball game in that side. Um, it's, it could work, but not in the same way. You hardly get properties that could uh, be able to cover all three in one, uh, having offices, shops, and as well as uh, residents in one building. Yeah, I'm asking this because um, there's a certain book I read. Ne? They spoke yeah. about these property investors say they don't buy into the curb. They call it the curb value, the pavement yeah. value. Mm -hmm. In other words, if something has got a high pavement value because it looks good, probabilities are that it's expensive and difficult yeah. to get into and it's harder to get their return on investment. Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, uh, we... We have in our listing a property going for 13 million. Um, that property has got um, apartments in it, and it's those older types of apartments, which means they are much bigger and they're more spacious, which you can convert even into two bedrooms if you wanted to. So if you make them two bedrooms, you can make more money out of it. Um, it's got shops in it and dance studios, there's two dance studios in it, which you could still partition into further offices should you want to do that. Uh, being in the CBD, it's uh, in the heart of the city, uh, of the city where uh, the, the economy is more vibrant and um, it's more accessible to the lower end of the market. Uh, so, I think that's, that's where you could possibly make more money um, because even the way you can enter into that market, if you enter at a lower price than you would if it was um, in the north. Yeah. Because the same property, should it have been in the north, um, probably going to cost you more than double that price. You could be paying maybe 30 million for the same property that you pay 13 million in, in, in the city. Yeah, so but you can turn the 13 million in the CBT uh, into an income that will be uh, much more in value than what you have done in an expensive area. Can I, can I get the call back?
No, cool. No, thanks, Kisa.